Hi all and welcome to my Formula 1 season review for 2017. So the 2017 season is over. We've got our four-time world champion in Lewis Hamilton. We've had some highs, we've had some lows. So I'd like to talk about my uh, driver of the year. So obviously it first goes to Lewis but Max Verstappen has been really good this year and so has Daniel Ricciardo to the point where I think Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen will be challenging for the championship next year. The team of the year for 2017 uh, is Mercedes and it's also Red Bull joint with Ferrari. Um, Ferrari were very strong and at times they had um, a better car than a Lewis. I think most of the field had a better car than Lewis uh, last year and um, it really showed but he stuck to his guns and he kept that Mercedes going so that's why Mercedes, Red Bull and um, Ferrari are in the main spotlight for uh, team of the year. Race of the year is actually quite um, it's quite difficult really because I think there were quite a lot of good races there was quite a lot of boring races such as Abu Dhabi um, Bahrain you know the usual ones um, but I enjoyed pretty much most of the rest of the races um, this year we had the um, really weird Americanized opening on the US Grand Prix with all the drivers coming out that was actually uh, it was fun to watch but it was very badly planned and um, I hope they don't do it next year so this was the year that Ferrari made their comeback it was amazing to see it was good to see and you know it was a good thing that they were able to um, put Lewis to the test and although Lewis won more races this year um, Seb has been there all the way through pretty much. Yeah, so welcome back Ferrari and Ferrari is definitely back as I predicted <laughs> and um, I'm hoping to see um, more in 2018. And as I also said earlier, Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen are doing a good job. Um, hopefully the 2018 car uh, will be set up really well for them. It seems to be quite strong as um, Daniel Ricciardo has alluded to so um, fingers crossed for that I like to see either him or Max win I'm not really a Red Bull fan as you guys might know but um, you know I'm supporting my driver before I support my team so this was also um, Felipe Massa's retirement number two so Williams have now got rid of him um, he will not be coming back uh, <laughs> or you never know he might but who's in the picture uh, Pascal Wehrlein um, Daniel what's his name not Daniel Ricciardo uh, Paul de Resta and Robert Kubica uh, amongst others so um, what's going on there they've got like a choice of between three to five drivers that's amazing there's five drivers waiting in the wings and you know now that Felipe has gone they can make that choice but they're not going to do that until um, next year now and uh, hopefully they'll put somebody experienced enough to help the team um, Massa actually got a few good points uh, this year so you know that's helped the team quite a lot um, I'm sure he'll pop up back on the um, race calendar somewhere as a guest or as a guest interviewer if you've been following Formula 1 year on year it hasn't been that shocking but um, Force India drivers have been doing very very well Force India as a team have been doing very very well so it's just really amazing to see those guys they're a lower level team but they're punching way above their weight and that's really nice to see 
it's good to see that you know hard work and determination that helps the team grow so fast and boy do they have drivers that like to fight <laughs> these guys on uh, in force india have been fighting against each other it's crazy and what a year mclaren has had from uh, fernando alonso um, going to indycar instead of um, monaco he's shown that he's a really good driver in any sport as he came really close obviously it's his first time round he wasn't going to win it straight off the bat um, i don't think because he had uh, pretty much back to back races but the little time that he had in the IndyCar car it was um, it was enough for him to get so far up the grid which is really good but you know he's back at McLaren now he's going to stay there that's what we've been told he's going to stay there and so McLaren swapped their Honda engine with Renault and we're going to see how that goes that will be interesting for 2018 but they had an okay showing this year maybe towards the end of the year there were some races where Alonso was doing quite well in the points um, but it's just that that engine is just so underpowered uh, it wasn't really effective this year so Sauber 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 they actually finished last for two seasons in a row so this may be uh, the chance to actually say okay that's it we're not going to do it anymore so the the only thing that's keeping the team going is um, Marcus Ericsson's sponsorship deals and um, and it's rumored in 2018 they will be using uh, Alfa Romeo engine so that would be really exciting because I drive an Alfa Romeo. I think it was a good season for the new owners, Liberty Media. They did a few weird things. They did a few good things. Um, but yeah, I think it was quite uh, it was quite good. And they very they were very American about the way they did things, especially at the American uh, the U.S. Grand Prix. Yeah, so it was a good season. Um, Malaysia and Azerbaijan and Singapore weren't very good races for Sebastian Vettel. So my predictions videos uh, for 2017 were a bit hit and miss. More miss than hit but there were a few that I actually got spot on so that's good. Um, just goes to show you're always guessing um, in this game. You think somebody will win or somebody will come first, second or third, but it's usually the other way around. Um, you can't always favour the the main guy, you can't always favour Lewis Hamilton. But um, yeah, it was a good season, I enjoyed it. I didn't get to watch as many of them live this year, which was, um, which was annoying. But obviously work has to intrude. So let's hope 2018 is going to be a better year and I'll be able to watch all the races live. Um, it's been interesting, it's been fun, there have been some good things off track, there have been good things on track. Um, it's an actual very well covered sport now and that's a good thing and that's where it was going towards in the run up to uh, 2012 I think from 2011 onwards it started gaining that traction um, and now with Liberty Media's involvement it's actually getting a bit more um, better uh, coverage which is really really good so um, please watch out for my uh, videos on the build up to uh, the 2018 season so if you've been watching my predictions uh, for 2017 and 2016, thank you very much. 2018 will be a better year. Um, it will be an interesting year because of the new rule changes and I will be covering those, as I said, in my run up to the 2018 season. Um, but until then, please uh, like this video, share your comments and subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.